we are cleaning up some storm debris. We're going to take a trip Ooh. to uh, the landfill. Smith, we do that every single year. <laughs> we do take advantage. I know a lot of other yeah. people will. But, you know, just getting outside and enjoying the weather. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And Isaac? Just soaking up the sun, Carson. Yeah. Probably yep. do a little bit of fishing and uh, battle with fire ants because I was mm -hmm. starting to see some mounds and I'm like, oh, yep. got to take care of those this weekend. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep. We call it ant food. We give them yeah. ant food. Yeah. But a great weekend yeah. to do all that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, all of the above, whether it's killing fire ants, whether it's wetting the line, or like you said, enjoying the Cheryl Crow song, soak up the sun. There we go. We're going to the dump. <laughs> there we go. So let's go ahead and talk about the lake levels. Uh, lake Athens, Lake Bob Sandlin, Lake Fork, Lake of the Pines. Folks, they are all up right now. Tawakadee is also at 1.3 feet above the conservation pool. Now, as we look at your lake levels a bit further to the south, I've been seeing a lot of photos of spillways uh, being used, and you can see Cedar Creek, Lake Palestine, both at least two feet above the conservation pool. Lake Tyler, one foot above. Martin Creek's normal. Lake Jacksonville, about 0.8 feet above normal. Now, as we look at your lake levels for our southern counties, Deep East Texas, Nacogdoches is about two feet above normal. Sam Rayburn is the one outlier and the one lake that is below normal. Now, what's interesting about Toledo Bend is we are above normal and because the lake has risen so quickly now granted the Sabine River does feed Toledo Bend so a lot of run water has been running into that lake so they've had to release some of that water through the floodgates now as we take a live look outside in long view we have a few passing clouds right now that's thanks to this ridge of high pressure beginning to move off to the west. A few more clouds will arrive tonight from the west. Temperatures are in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Henderson is at 85. It's 81 in Tyler, 78 in Gilmer. That goes for about a 5 to 10 degree temperature change over the last 24 hours. We're about 5 to 10 degrees warmer right now. And as we look at your wind speeds, we are under 10 miles per hour area wide, but those winds will be increasing as we move through the weekend. Speaking of, here's that weekend forecast. 83 Saturday. It will be a warm day. It will be a bit breezy as well. And then we'll see a few more clouds on Sunday with temperatures in the low to middle 80s Sunday afternoon. All right, let's go ahead and talk about next week's severe weather threat. We have a level one for Hopkins County for next Monday, but I think the higher threat for us will be on Tuesday. Parts of East Texas right now under that slight risk of severe weather, but I do think the higher threat will stay up to the northeast where we will have better atmospheric dynamics for that. Here are the next seven days. Warm this weekend, 83 Monday and Tuesday, 87 Wednesday, a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms Thursday. But again, keying in on those storm chances, especially next Tuesday. Casey Isaac, back to you. Carson, thank you. In West Texas, cotton producers are grateful for this week's rain. They